Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Two devices from the same OEM, Huawei. And they have created two devices here that are solid, aesthetically, and all their sexiness, and solid in performance. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little spec overview on these two devices. One's obviously newer, one's older. Gonna do an app opening test and a 2-2 benchmark test. We're just gonna have some fun with these two Huawei devices. And when it's all said and done, let me know what you think. Especially if you're considering them or if you have them. Yeah, let me know. Let me know what you like about these devices, what you don't like about these devices, what you've heard is good and bad, the pros and cons, because nothing is perfect. Okay? If you've had the perfect device where you've had no issues whatsoever, leave that information down below. I'd like to know what it is. And I mean 100% perfect because nothing I've ever had is perfect. There's going to be areas that every device has that is just going to be like, ah, I wish this was a little different or that can be tweaked with a software update, whatever, right? I mean, that's just the way it is. But overall, Huawei has constructed two devices that are phenomenal when it comes to the aesthetics. They're solid and in performance, they're amazing. The Huawei Nexus 6P is a stock Android device running 7.1.1 Android Nougat. And you have the Huawei Mate 9 running EMUI 5.0 over the top of Android Nougat 7.0. And they have trimmed, slimmed down EMUI to allow Nougat to do its thing. And they're working together. And it's been an amazing time having this device as my daily driver. Uh, at this point, it, it doesn't have my SIM card. I took it out of there to put it into, ooh, bumpy cam. I took it out to put it into my ZTE XL7. I was doing some um, testing on my ZTE XL7 uh, with a recent update. Um, haven't seen anything really different with that update. It's more of a stable update for that. And that's why I took out my SIM card. But it's going to go right back into the Mate 9. Picked it up at Best Buy for $5.99, worth every penny in my opinion. Picked up the Huawei Nexus 6P at Best Buy for $4.49, had a $50 discount. So, 5.7 inch AMOLED display, that's a 2K display, 12 megapixel camera on the back, got 3 gigs of RAM, it's got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 810, again, 32 gigs of internal storage, 3450 milliamp battery, and it has been efficient and sufficient for me during the time that I've had this device. Okay? The Huawei Mate 9, 5.9 inch IPS LCD display that has been done right. This display is phenomenally awesome to visually look at. I'm not kidding you. It's one of the best ever IPS displays I've ever had in hand. 20 megapixel camera on the back. You got a 4 gig of RAM and it's running a high silicone Kirin 960, 64 gigs of internal storage, expandable memory up to 256 gigs, 4,000 milliamp battery. And they both have dual speakers aesthetically. The 6P is on the front and on the Huawei Mate 9, you have it doubled up as an earpiece and you have it down below here on the right-hand side of the device. Both have USB Type-C, uh, both have front-facing cameras. You got an eight megapixel on the front here and if I remember correctly, an eight megapixel right up front here too on the Mate 9. So, um, yeah, just look at them. Sexy. Fingerprint sensors as well. Optical image stabilization. Don't have that over here. Dual flash, laser autofocus. Love these dual cameras, 20 and 12 megapixel. Okay, but both phenomenal in their own right. Can't go wrong. Enjoy this video, please. It could be long. Please watch it all. Let's start this app opening test. 